Hello, I'm Bob McCool, County Extension Agent in San Patricio County. And uh, on this ser series of videos, uh, we're going to show how uh, cotton grows and, and the various things that go on within the life cycle of the cotton from the time it emerges until it is uh, put in a bale and put on the truck. So as we see here, we're looking uh, originally at, at a no-till field that is in uh, about one mile uh, south and west of uh, uh, West Sinton, just outside of Sinton, Texas. Uh, this cotton is being planted into a no-till field. No-till is, is a, a, a means of uh, being able to uh, not to open the ground up and to be able to retain a little more moisture. You're able to leave a lot of trash like mulch on top of the ground that when the raindrops hit will be percolated into the soil. There's several advantages to, to no-till in that uh, it becomes a little more of a living soil. The, the uh, soil microorganisms have a, have a chance to thrive throughout. Uh, and again, it's, a, it's about soil health and, and water retention. We're, we're looking at, a, at the difference between what has been planting, what has been planted, and uh, what hasn't been planted. And as you'll see, it takes about seven to eight days for germination to take place on, on the on ideal conditions and uh, as it starts to emerge you can see the the fresh cotyledon with the seed coat still attached this seed coat in the color that uh, is there is predominantly in the uh, treatments that uh, come with the seed those are, are basically uh, fungicides and insecticides that will help protect that uh, tiny plant for about 30 days okay this seed coat that uh, you see here in these pictures will stay with that plant for about a one day and then it'll eventually dry up and break off and that's what you also see uh, laying at the bottom of the cotyledon. As we see here as, as the cotton begins to grow, it, about seven to eight days after emergence do we have the ability to row it up in the field. Uh, you can very readily see the cotton there. And then in about 45 days after emergence we have what we call the first square and then about 60 to 65 days after emergence is when we have our first flowers. As we pr uh, proceed through the, the vegetative state of cotton, uh, we see quite a bit of growth over the, the coming weeks. Uh, and as the, as the plant uh, starts to mature, it starts to, as we said, about 65, 60, 65 days uh, post emergence, we have our first flower. As that flower, uh, appears we start getting into more of the reproductive state of the cotton. Uh, those flowers will when they appear will be white and approximately 24 hours they will start to turn pink and wilt. So the same flower will be white for a matter of 24 hours roughly and then as it turns pink uh, it, it uh, is, is going to the as the flower turns pink, it, it is shown that it has been pollinated and will start to dry up and, and uh, start forming a bowl. Okay, as we, as we progress through this, uh, this uh, cotton crop, there's certain things that you will see appear that uh, almost look like a little green, small green egg, and that is what we call a bowl. And that bowl uh, forms for about 55 days from, from flowering until when that bowl will actually open. And as we progress on through, uh, we will eventually see what the bowls, when they get dry and pop, how they will appear and the cotton fibers will, will be uh, easily seen. So as, as these bowls continue to grow, the ones that the, the cotton plant actually puts these bowls on from the bottom to the top and from the inside to the outside. So over a matter of about 65 more days, the bottom bowls to when the top bowls are finished uh, forming uh, and ready to, to pop, we've, we've gone through another 65 days of, of, of cotton life. So at this stage when, when the uh, plant is uh, fully loaded, as we would say, the uh, farmer will then come in with uh, and uh, defoliate with, with the first treatment of defoliation will take place about 65 days after the first bowl at the bottom opens. Most farm operations actually use two 
uh, different uh, applications of defoliant. The first one goes on and they usually wait approximately seven to ten days to put on another one and in this video uh, this particular uh, as you can see in this one most producers uh, in San Patricio County they use a dual shot of uh, defoliant. They'll put the first shot on, they'll wait seven to ten days and apply another uh, shot of uh, defoliant. This ensures that all of the leaves come off of the plant so that uh, when they get ready to harvest, there's n the, the fiber is uh, there waiting to be picked. Uh, this gets rid of a lot of the trash and the leaves that might be in there uh, when it comes time to, to gin, the, gin the cotton or have the cotton fiber at a mill. So the cleaner that the leaves fall off, the better the uh, producer uh, quality of his cotton will be.